The views and opinions expressed on this program are those of the guests appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of 8 News Now or Nextar Media Group. It's hard to talk about things you really don't know the details about. What to do about children slipping through the cracks. The I-Team's Vanessa Murphy reports on why the county did not move forward with a panel on child deaths. It's no secret that, you know, the district has been, in, in my opinion, looked over. State Assemblyman William McCurdy tells us about his plans to run for Clark County Commission District D, including the need for economic development there. What really concerns me is the obstruction that is rampant throughout this administration. And Nevada Congresswoman Susie Lee shares her thoughts on impeachment and what she expects in her 2020 race for re-election. From 8 News Now, this is Politics Now with Steve Sebelius. The Clark County Commission decided there is enough oversight of child protective services. Thanks for joining us. I'm Steve Sebelius. Commissioners declined to move forward with the creation of a panel to review child deaths. The idea was proposed after system failures were exposed by the I-Team's Vanessa Murphy. She tells us they're putting faith in county management, CPS higher-ups, and oversight already in place to try to make sure abused children aren't falling through the cracks. I've seen the, the, the TV reports, I've read newspaper articles, and truthfully, it does raise questions that, that um, I, I think deserve answers. Commissioner Tick Sagerbloom proposed the creation of a blue ribbon panel to review child deaths and how Child Protective Services handled cases. Tim Birch, the director of CPS in Clark County, told the commission Monday 69 children died in 2018 and CPS had prior contact with families of 16 of them. Commissioners admit getting answers is a challenge. Essentially, I don't think we as a commission have the ability to go in there and, and do the to dive into it the way we would yes, sir. need to. Here's an example. In July, the I-Team reported on the death of J.J. Newman. His father and his girlfriend are accused of murdering him. His grandmother said she sounded the alarm before J.J.'s death, and she believes CPS could have saved him. But when the I-Team reached out to CPS and commissioners to follow up on the grandmother's claims, 432B comes up, a state law which requires case information to be kept confidential, even with commissioners who oversee the agency. I was through the, through the roof, very upset at the last death of, um, that I saw on Channel 8. It um, was very heartbreaking, but I've also been advised that there is just so limited information that could be given to me. It's hard to talk about things you really don't know the details about. Assistant County Manager Kevin Schiller told commissioners oversight is already in place at the state and federal levels. He pointed to continuous improvement through internal and external reviews and litigation. 8 News Now has reported on two current lawsuits and a $100,000 settlement involving families whose children were killed after CPS handled their cases. Because Birch their pointed to changes already Already recently made. Board, we've made over 18 policy changes in the last 18 months because we've been listening. Commissioner Larry Brown pointed to the volume. 32,000 children and their families having some sort of contact with the system last year. Are there uh, errors? Are there mistakes made? Uh, absolutely. But that's, again, that's life. Commissioners chose not to create a blue ribbon panel to review child deaths, but they say they are trusting systems and managers already in place. Because I have confidence in them. And keeping an eye on them. I asked hard questions myself, and, and a lot of it came from my very first interview with Vanessa, and then I went back and started um, investing in the time. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. The director said last year CPS received 20,000 calls. 11,000 of those calls resulted in investigations. Well, County Commissioner Lawrence Weekly is term limited in his District D seat, which covers East Las Vegas and the northeastern portion of the valley. Hoping to take his place is Assemblyman William McCurdy II, who is also the chairman of the state Democratic Party. I asked McCurdy about problems in District D that need fixing. 
A county commission seat doesn't open up very often. This is an open seat, 12 years. Mm -hmm. uh, Larry Weekly has been in there, uh, is now termed out. Uh, so, so that that played a, a role in your thinking, right? I mean, this is something you, you had to look at it and say, well, this doesn't happen every day, and, and this is if this is something I want to do, I want to do it now. Of course, and uh, you know, Commission District D is an area uh, that I've grown up in, an area that I'm raising my family in, and an area that I love. And I mean, it's very diverse. We have you know many issues that are facing us each and every day. You know, everything from um, economic development to looking at you know homelessness issues, and also looking at you know how can we make sure that government continues to work for everyone. And um, you know, as you stated, Commissioner Weekly, you know, has held the seat, and I am just looking to. To uh, utilize this opportunity to further dig in on representing in representing uh, the constituencies that I've already been representing in the legislature. Um, do you think over the years that the uh, both the city and the county have neglected uh, areas like District D, like East Las Vegas? They don't seem to have the same resources, the same uh, park space, the same municipal services really that other areas like Summerlin and Green Valley and other areas of the valley have. Do you, do you think there's been some neglect over there and how do you think you can counter that? Um, I believe that you know the, the local municipalities have been doing any and everything that they can possibly do to alleviate this issue. What that means is that you know when they go into the parks and you know they you know leave you know things behind that can be harmful to our children uh, that's a public health concern so in County Commission District D, I'm going to be focused on making sure that we decentralize um, homelessness being just in County Commission District D, but looking at it from a regional approach. All the grocery stores have left, no grocery stores are opening up, and you know, you, you have to drive a ways to get to a grocery store. And, you do. and things that, you know, people in other parts of the valley, I, I've got gro grocery stores, you know, a choice of several around my neighborhood, very, very short drive, but sometimes that's not the case. No, it's not the case, and you point out a very significant issue issue uh, you know not only that's exclusive to you know assembly district 6 in which I was able to sponsor legislation that prioritized you know expanding opportunities for supermarkets and grocery stores in underserved uh, food deserts uh, but it doesn't just stop there I mean we have uh, that policy will actually help you know our rural communities who actually have to drive way further than what we would have to drive but we have to do more to bring new ideas to address the needs of the people like bringing legislation from the state level to prioritize you know uh, new development of supermarkets and expansion of grocery stores and folks should not have to travel you know five miles or three miles outside of where they are living to access fresh food do you have future plans beyond the county commission uh, that uh, that was, were alleviated by the fact to say hey you know somebody else was on the county commission they went on to bigger and better things as well so this isn't going to be the end of a career my goal is service as long as we have issues that are facing the most vulnerable populations, as long as we have areas in which we can improve, I am willing to serve. As a chairman of the party, I serve. You mentioned that then chairman uh, of the county commission, Sisolak, went to governor. He's a phenomenal individual. He has an extreme uh, sense of um, care and compassion for the people, which is why he is now our governor. And I would argue that he's the best governor that Nevada has and will see. We can watch the rest of that interview on our website, 8newsnow.com. Just look for political news under the news tab. And yet another person hoping to join the county commission, current Las Vegas City Councilman and former Metro Police Captain Stavros Anthony. He's a Republican running for the District C seat. That's currently held by Commissioner Larry Brown. He's also facing term limits. Well, the cannabis industry says it has paid more than $100 million in taxes and fees in the last year. That was generated by $639 million in marijuana sales during that time. So how much of that is going to education? Well, we don't quite know yet, but in the previous year, the industry paid about $75 million in taxes, and about 27 or 28 million of that went to the distributive schools account. And the 2019 legislature made some changes that will divert more of that money into education. Well, Clark County Commissioners this week approved a sales tax increase to pay for education and some social programs. The increase will be one-eighth of one percent. That will raise about $54 million a year. 
The money can be used for early childhood ed education, adult education programs to reduce truancy and homelessness, workforce training, or recruiting and retraining teachers. The tax is set to expire in June 2021. It can, of course, be extended. Now, that vote came as the result of a bill passed in the 2019 legislature that authorized county commissions throughout Nevada to raise the sales tax up to one quarter of one percent. Clark County opted for half that amount instead. Well, taking up gun control legislation. This uh, is such a, it, this is a national crisis. Susie Lee tells us what gun legislation she wants to see and if she thinks they can survive a Supreme